What's going on, Big Blue Nation? It's your boy, Big Blue Steph, coming at you as a semi-reaction video, whatever you want to call it. I'm here, y'all. I'm here. I stand with Big Blue. I'm true blue forever. I'm not one of these fans who are wishy-washy, who's going to be like, oh, man, the Giants ain't doing right. I'm going to be a Jets fan for a little bit. I'm going to be a Bills fan or whoever, whoever. That's not me. You know, I've been a Giants fan since basically, I was like, what, six, seven years old, you know, going back. We ain't going to go by age, but I've been there for a couple decades, more than a couple decades. Let's put it like that. Anyway, um, yeah, there ain't going to be no, you know, hey, Steph, come on now. Uh-uh. We can't do this. You can't be a Giants fan, blah, blah, blah. Keeping in mind, I live in the DMV. That's Maryland, D.C., Virginia. And, um... You know, we got a bunch of them Skins Commanders fans, a bunch of them Cowboy fans, even some Philly fans. You know, I work with the whole gambit. So, it is what it is. Look, we took this L on the chin. We took it no Vaseline. I mean, we was just disrespected on national television, at home, in the rain, start of the season, all eyes on us. And the Cowboys, whatever. So, it is what it is, you know? Gotta have that next game mentality. But, I mean, like I titled this video, Same Old Giants. It just makes you wonder. I mean, we went through this whole damn off season. I mean, the way we lost in the playoffs against Philly, we understood. We weren't matched up well. You know, that talent gap that everyone keeps talking about. The buzzword, talent gap, bridge the talent gap, blah, blah, blah. It all starts in two places, the offensive line and the defensive line. And from what we saw in the game, if we talking about bridging a talent gap, that hasn't happened yet. Shane ain't done it yet. And, you know, it's only his second year on the job, basically. Gettleman ain't do it in five years, whatever it was. Reese ain't did it. You know, this is ongoing, so that's why I say it's same old Giants. We would like to think that we, you know, addressed it, but going into the season, I think everybody's probably top three, if not top two, top one issues was this offensive line. If Evan Neal's, if he steps up and has a progression, kind of like Andrew Thomas did, not keeping in mind that everybody's different. You know, you can't say Evan Neal's going to be this just because Andrew Thomas did it. Don't work that way, y'all. But besides that point, Blawinski at right tackle, at best, is a good run blocker and a sorry-ass pass defender. It got fully exposed. Him, Neal, I mean, JMS, I think he did okay, but... Part of that whole aura of whatever the hell went on last night after Andrew Thomas's false start, and then the very next snap, JMS throws a low <laughs> low ball. I mean that whole that whole thing just spiraled out right after that. So, you know, just to see us get manhandled like that at home, you know, it's been what six months since our last game. All this hype. You know, you want to think that you've gotten to a certain level and all you're going to do from there is just keep building up. And it hasn't happened. It didn't happen. Let's put it like that. You know, we still got 16 more games to play. 17 more weeks in total. 18 in total, 17, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So the season's not over, but this was a crappy-ass way to start the season with all the hype. We're having Queen Latifah in the building setting it off. And it makes me think, the last time I think I went to opening game, I think it was also a Sunday night game. It was the year after, uh, it was the Cheddar Bob year. If y'all know, y'all know. Queen Latifah opened us up right there, and there as well. Um, so maybe something about Queen Latifah, I don't know. Might have to research that, see if she's really a Giants fan. Just faking. Queen Latifah, if you ever see this, we love you. But damn, Cowboys did us dirty that day too. So, um, what can I say? Um, <clears throat> ain't gonna put it all on the O line. The defensive line, our pass rush, that was trash. Um, 
you know, you keep hearing about with Wink's defense, you know, scheme up this pressure. You know, we got Ojolari back, healthy, supposedly. Thibodeau back, healthy, you know, ready to improve, ready to be Batman and Robin, trying to be the Dex and Leo of the um, pass rush. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Of course, you give them enough time, they're going to eat up our corners. Trey Hawkins, you know, he got baptized. You know, got that P.I., I think, off the first deep, deep bomb. So, you know, happened to him. It seemed like Trey Banks was doing all right, then pulled up with some cramps. You know, hey, it happens. Um, it's just, it was just a bad game all around. O-line, D-line, defense. You know, Kara K, we barely even heard him until, what, he popped, you know, he forced that fumble. But, you know, of course, the way everything was going, Dallas was coming right back with that ball. So, it is what it is. Offensively, I know everyone wants to crap on Daniel Jones, and rightfully so. He didn't have the best game. How much of that was him? How much was that was the off the offense and being prepared for what Dallas was getting ready to bring? How much of that was the O-line? It was a mix. Everyone wants to shit on Daniel Jones and this new contract. Yeah. Who in your right mind can survive in that O-line? You throw Mahomes back there, would he have been as good? He might have had a couple more completions. Running for your life. Eh, against Parsons, Lawrence, Fowler. I forgot Fowler was even on the team. I mean, it was just a total ass whooping all the way around. The defense didn't really show like you thought they would. I think Adore got exposed as a nickel. Um, you know, he tried his best. He's a professional, but it's not his, his, it's not his forte, you know. Um, going back to the offense, I mean, that O-line couldn't do nothing. Saquon had a nice couple up-the-gut runs, but we couldn't sustain that. Off that first drive, I think that killed the momentum. And I think people underestimate how much that really killed, killed momentum, killed hope, killed this burden we had about losing to Dallas for how many straight years. It's just, it sucks, man. That fumble, that false start, the pick six or... Saquon fumble, whatever they don't call it. I don't know what it was. Um, it, that just killed so much momentum and so much hope for this for this game, for this team. It just, it just wasn't cool. So I, I really can't tell you how we're going to respond after this. But, you know, same old Giants. I mean, the O-line's bad. The D-line, the corners can't stop. Like, the only thing that didn't happen that normally happens it's freaking like they're tight end and go off for like 10, 20 yards. I mean, 10, 20 catches or so for like 300 yards. I mean, there was no Witten. There was no uh, Novacek type of performance. It's the only thing that didn't happen in that game. And probably a not a block punt, surprisingly so. Special teams, another issue. Same old Giants. O-line, D-line, special teams. I mean, when are we going to get past this, y'all? Like, we're trying to give Shane the benefit of the doubt. It's more that we, I mean, a couple up to a couple weeks ago, up to a couple days ago, we praising Dayball, we praising Shane, you know, and Shane, we trust this and that. So we got to give him the opportunity to make this right. But like somebody said on <laughs> on the YouTube with the stream with our bad dog and um, the entertainer, it's like, yo, some we need to just next, next year just draft all old line. The rest of the way, we need a right tackle. I mean, it's sad to say we got our left tackle. Hopefully, left tackle just solidified for years to come. Center, I think he had the little jitters, but I think he settled down. But there was some low slaps. It was raining, whatever, whatever. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt too. Left guard. I mean, I don't understand being so. And I don't know if this was Kafka or Dayball or how it was. You see, Glowinski is struggling so bad. All right, Bredesen, not as bad. You've been playing him all over the line on the interior. Why not kick Bredesen over to the right guard and let's see what the hell Azudu could do at left guard. Or if you want to try him at right guard, whatever. It doesn't matter. But you ain't getting nothing out of Glowinski. You might as well. You're getting blasted 40 to fucking nothing. What, what are you, why are you not putting him in? Let's see what you got. Glowinski's gone after the season anyway. Cut him. He, ain't gonna, he doesn't fit what you're trying to do. You were hoping he could, but it didn't happen. I mean, damn, you can't be so stagnant 
and so set in your ways that you're not willing to change some. Putting Daniel Jones in the rest of the game, I was hoping he, uh, you know, we can get some positive, you know, get a touchdown, you know, blah blah blah. In the meantime, you, he's getting killed out there. Did he say something about your mama that you got this man out there with the third string O line getting blasted? You want Tyrod Taylor to play? You want to bring up DeVito and sabotage a whole entire season from game one? Because that's the only way I could see you. It don't make no sense. The same way you put Adoree as a punt returner last year against, who was it? I don't even remember. Was it Detroit? And he blew his, uh, didn't blow, but I mean, he injured himself. Like, you can't do stupid shit like that, y'all. You know, still love the Giants. Still, like, you know, love the torture that they put us to through the mental anguish, all that, but we got to do better. I'm glad we play Arizona, but if we play Arizona the way we play Dallas, yo, we going on too. Plain and simple. This is why you play the games, right? Every week is a new challenge, but you got to prove yourself every week. Anyway, y'all, that, that's all I got. You know, <laughs> lost for words. That game was trash. I can't even, like, watch the, the replays. It was trash. Got a DVR. It was, it was trash. I don't even want to try to see any silver linings outside of we get to play next week against Arizona. Anyway, your boy Big Blue Steph signing off. Holla.